ignore that. Hello everybody, we are back, and yeah, ignore that, I had to change game modes because I realized it was in that time, but that's not that big of a deal. We were sent, we were sent out here to grab Treyor has some pork chops to put in his fridge, and the only place I know that sells pork chops in this area is the pizzeria. Where are the workers? Um... Where, where are the workers? Can you not use this door? Are you stuck, good sir? Anyways... Back to the pi pizzeria we... Your workstation is right there, goofball. Just head in there and go inside. What is up with wheat meandering all that way out? And what's with those golems always con congregating over there? Hello, chef. I need some pork chops. Should be plenty of pork chops. But how on earth is wheat even getting over here? Ah, I see how he's doing that. Okay, no, I see how he does it. I see how he does it. Wait, I need for you to come with me because you are being a little stupid. Get in the boat. Please get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get 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 in, get in the boat. Let me drag you back to where you're supposed to be by the motel. Whoopsie Daisy. You need to be by the... I still don't know why those golems are insisting on being over there and not on this side of the area. There you go. Good as no. Anywho, now we must leave. Actually, first we should probably take shelter in the motel for now. Hello, hello, stranger. I will sleep next to you now. Don't mind me. You're a goober. You are a goober. Your workstation is over here. I'm not sure what happened to that uh, desert temple, but it definitely did something weird. Seems there's a Mark III out here. I think, I think it's stuck. There you go. There you go, kind of golem. You're no longer stuck. What about you? Are you a Mark III? No, you're just a regular golem. And Treyoros also mentioned something about getting a toy for his cat back at the lab. And I know just the guy who can make them. Hello, Keith. You have anything for me that's toy like? No. Well, that's weird. That, 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 I'm gonna end this when it's outside of my view. Ooh, that's an interesting looking thing there. Anything in the fridge? Well, nothing in your fridge, huh? Well, we must head back to the lab, the other lab, you know, the one with the bigger testing chamber. We must head to that one. I'm going to take a different route around. Can you not? I'm going to take a different route around. Oh, froggy. Right, this was supposed to be the police station, but we haven't gotten that built yet. This place is more of an... Atreus hasn't really given me too much knowledge on this place, because... Well, 
I kind of came from this direction. This was not here when I met Treyora, so maybe he's been working on this place to, I guess, bring more tourism into the area. And you can even put a sign for a movie theater. Like, that could be very nice. He's also been watching a lot of Phineas and Ferb, and he does want to build Doofenshmirtz Evil Incorporated here, just for the shiggles. It would, well, over here would be a barber shop if we ever do make one. And then the, that right there. Awful lot of golems. And over here would be like an outdoor picnic area. We've got a very nice fish tank over here. So I need to figure out where I'm going to put my melon manor. There's not very many places that I could put it. Maybe in the middle of that ocean there. Make up, make an island in the middle of the ocean. Sounds like a fair plan, honestly. But I must return these pork chops to Treoris. So there plans for a restaurant over here with a house on top of it. And on the other side would be a grocery store. Like maybe like an Aldi or something. Probably an Aldi. Why are there so many golems? I feel like Treoris' machine might be malfunctioning, but uh, I can't really say nothing about it. You know what? I want to see what's in this forest. Why is this here? There's plans for a pathway? Oh, it looks like plans for a pathway. Hmm, torch flowers. You don't see... Why is there a goat out here? That's unusual. Seems the golems are also wandering into these woods. Huh. Talk about the dog jump scare, huh? I heard from one of the uh, nitwits in the town back there that. Oh, what the? Oh, that seems like a eatily deed spot. But anyway, I heard from one of the, from Wheat specifically, that there was a den in the forest over here, somewhere near this, one of the giant spruce trees, the one covered in vines, which we've appeared to have found. Oh, this looks suspicious. Oh, seems we found the den. Hmm. Huh. Interesting symbol symbology. I wonder where it could have come from. What are you doing here, McMeatloaf? Aren't you supposed to be contained? Although, he is technically contained in here, so I mean... Oh, a fox. Anything in this jukebox? No? Nothing in the jukebox, huh? There's more foxes. Looks like a fox den. Very nice. Oh, and they got beds here too. Nice. That's actually this is actually really snazzy. But I must go. Treoris is expecting me to bring him this pork chops, his stack and some pork chops back to the laboratory. Guess we're going around this. Back over to the Glimbo Glumbo gas station. My favorite gas station. Like, the prices on their beef jerky is a steal. Only two emeralds per strip? Hmm. Granted, you need salt to make it, which we can which we can make here. But, yeah, it's a bit of a process. Uh, that Joel makes his own jerky and sells it. Which is why it's so cheap. Another one of these melon shrines. This is from my uh, melon society. Been going on for four years. About as long as this world's been around. You will see those occasionally. Well, there's Treyos' banner design, so... And it's definitely proven that he was the one that helped build this. Makes sense. Build the lab and then build a commercial zone near it. Tourism. 
Though not sure how tourism is very good for the laboratory, but I guess it gives people an ability to see if we're launching fireworks or not. You know what? That's actually a really good idea. Put it in the minecart. Repair tools, huh? Oh, very nice. This is one of our turrets. It's a very nice turret, I will say. But Treos wants me to put this food in, in his refrigerator. Yeah, the bottom one. There you go, Treos. Your food's in there now. Anything else you need of me? Treos? 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 Oh, I think I see Treos. Actually, all the intern has to... Never mind, intern doesn't have anything to say to me. Hello. Hello there, Treos. Intern, do you have any... Uh... Let me see on the map here. What am I thinking about? Do you have any word on that new pyramid that has shown up? Oh, you do? You say it's it's full of trial spawners, huh? Okay, I'll go check that out. What do you say about that, Treyors? Yeah? Sounds like a plan. I mean, I can't really bring you with me, but, you know. Now we must head over to that desert. It's, uh, it's a bit in, it's in the direction of the sun. The sunset. Ooh, the sunset. That does remind me I need to get to sleep. Instead of sleeping in the, um, the house I have next to the lab, I'm going to sleep in one of my other houses, because, yeah. I'm pretty sure Intern should meet me there, too. He's always quick with things. Over there, we got Melonhenge. Very nice structure. Ah, yes. Statue of Dan. The, the man who never returned. We made a statue in your honor. But I need to head in this general direction. And I need my trident to get up there. Because of course I need my trident to get up there. Why wouldn't I? But this is a very nice bridge, I was saying. Ooh, that sun is getting dark. We need to get to sleep. Okay, but for this series, I do need to reorganize my inventory. Maybe empty it, maybe? To be more reminiscent of the man himself, maybe? Let me run, please. I need to go to sleep. I need to go to the sleepy place. Please let me to the sleepy place. We just got a binary counter up there. Because why not? It's a, it's a day counter binary counter. It doesn't really do all that much. Whee! Always got to make sure you crouch before entering. Because this is one of those houses that just kind of scream at you if you don't. Ah, home sweet home. One of my many homes. Intern, you in here? No? I oh, must have actually beat him here. Oh, hello, Grim. Hello, Golgi Apparatus. He's my green frog. I think there's two more over here. Yeah, there's, there's Jimmy down there. And then we got two bees up there. We also got Pesky Bad. J Flomper. Flumper. Flurm. Uh, Toast the Rabbit, IBX the Cat, uh, I think Scruffy's up there, yeah, Scruffy's up there. That's my nice computer. This is my golden laptop, it has a mouse and everything. But I must head to sleep now. Over here we have Shnli. Sh yeah, Cleo, Sir Meows a lot. Uh, their names, are, they're outside Sven. Uh, Himalaya. Crunchy with two eyes. That one. Oh. Why don't you get up here so qu so quickly? Man, Grim, you, you are one magical dog. 
Well, then again, I gave you your skin back, so you're still technically a skeleton dog, but you're wearing a skin suit. Does it make you a skinwalker? You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna question that. I must, I must eep. I must go eepy. In my waterbed. <laughs> ah. No, a new day. That is the wrong door. I must now exit. Of course, there are many exits. Now, I needed to go to a structure out in the desert. It's supposed to be a weird pyramid that has shown up. I know there's a portal back here because, of course, I built the portal. Oh, there's a skeleton down there. Oh, that's always very interesting. Also, a very nice snowy area back here, too. Oh, in we go. Couldn't tell I'm making up the story as I go. Um, this is completely unscripted. I am kind of just, yeah, it's completely unscripted. I'm just doing whatever I, I feel like it. Uh, okay, so to get to this place, we must head this direction. I know there should be a portal that should lead us relatively close enough. And I know exactly how to get there. But you should try yours also wanted me to grab something from there. Like a golden artifact. I'm not sure if they have any of those. If not, I'll just tell him that I that there weren't any in there. But we have to go up to that area to get to the portal that'll take us relatively close. Treyora said he'll meet me at the structure he has nearby. It's not really near nearby, but it's it's close enough to where I can get there with ease. Because not everything's convenient, you know. Hello, Iron Armor Pigman. Cause of the torrents, aren't you? Well, that's definitely an interesting look. Anywho, in we go. And since I was here with Chaoras, I also decided to remake some of the other structures from Dan's old mod showcases. Just to provide a better sense of nostalgia for him and other individuals. And what on earth is that over there? It's like a bunch of dead trees. But then I got the mangrove tree there. And I've actually never seen polar bears in this biome in this specific spot in a very long time. So that's always very nice, but we must go see Treoros over here. Yes, we are on the other side of that forest. Yeah, I know. And I suck at parkour. Let's just swim the rest of the way. This was the lab as it appeared for the first time. And Treoros seems to have already beat me here. Can I edit that? No. And that does nothing. Got spider in a boat. Spiders in here. These are demon spiders. Uh, friendly spider, I think. And the ender spider in here. And the creeper spider way out there. But Treos is... Uh, I'm not sure if the place has an artifact, but I will try to get you something. If I don't return with anything, that means there was no artifacts to be found. Oh, would you look at that time? Seems we must be nearing the end of an episode. And thus, I shall end the episode off at the nearby village. We will then go from there to find the ancient Ruin. This is a village that Treyoras helped restore from its former zombified state. And now the villagers are thriving. Most of them are leather workers because Treyoras had the bright idea of building a giant cauldron nearby. 
But yeah, it's a pretty nice place otherwise. And we ended off here. We'll see you in the next one. Go wait, good. You know I had to do it once.